What's going on guys? There was in a block back again. I'm out here with the Paul Hunter Camaro. We're going to remove some trim around this back window and the front window so we can begin the body work. I got a couple areas on the body that I marked that I'm going to have to deal with. Went ahead and started taking some of the paint off of the back here. Uh, in the previous video, I was talking about this little rust hole. We'll just weld that up after we get all the rust killed up out of there, and this should be fine there. That's about it. The other side looks good, as you can see there. No big issues there. So I started working this area here. There was a hump in the side of this panel, and uh, this is a factory seam where the quarter, which is this area, is welded to the roof. This is another top section of the car. And there was a hump here. Um, not really sure why there was a hump, but this metal's high, that metal's high, and then whatever was done did not smooth this out. It was kind of um, just left there, and it was painted over when I painted it the last time. I'm going to take it down, get that fixed. And looking on this side... This side actually looks pretty good. It's a little small crack right there. These cars flex and uh, because of the unibody. So if it does flex at all, you'll see some cracking here and on the other side. So that's what that little crack's from. But we will address that. Uh, but before I can address that, I need to go ahead and get the rest of this window trim off and the trim on the front. <clears throat> so to remove the window trim, we're gonna be using a set to remove the window trim, we'll be using a set of these. I'll put a link in the description where you can pick these up at your local parts store or Amazon. So that's what I'm using. Basically just slide it down along the glass where your clips are at. Open them up, slide it until you find a clip. Squeeze together. And as you can see, <clears throat> it just popped it right up off of there. So that's what we're going to do. I'll get the trim off all the way around and then we can continue with our body prep.
so I'm gonna show you guys why I'm taking this car down to bare metal. Um, people have different opinions on this, and you know, everybody has their own opinion. But I'm gonna explain to you why I'm taking it down. Uh, we talked about this area back here where there's a little bit of a seam. Get you guys in there where you see that line right there. So there's a little seam right there. We're gonna weld that up. Actually, um, probably the same thing on the other side. It's real small, but still, I'm just gonna weld that in. Probably was lead back in the day, maybe. I don't know. They still use lead in the 70s or not. But anyway, uh, so this doesn't look bad. This is the original color of the car. I think it was like a white or a cream or something like that. This is probably the primer. This was a uh, black that was over top of the primer. They used an 80 grit. When they put this black on, you can see by the scratches here. So that's good. The black was bonded to the previous old paint. That's a good, good sign. So that I wasn't really too worried about. If you come over here to the front, I'll show you the area of concern. If you look right here, right around this corner, if you look, there's some little pinholes and dimples. And what this is, is where the old paint, the original paint on the car, was dead or is past its useful age. When that happens, it starts to lift off the vehicle. So uh, you may have seen this before on a vehicle where like the paint's starting to crack. At that point, that paint will no longer stick to the surface. So you can paint over it. I could have painted over this on the car. It'd probably be fine for another five years, 10 years, depends on if this car is inside or outside and the conditions it's exposed to. But if you ever see this, you should take it off. If you don't, it's a ticking time bomb and you never know when it's gonna fail. So in this case, we're just going to go ahead and take it all off. Um, I did some prep work, and this red, uh, red oxide primer is actually something I put on before I painted this car with the Rust-Oleum Gray. Uh, and I've not had any issues with it. The paint has adhered well. However, this is why I'm taking it to bare metal. Because that is just paint peeling off waiting to happen. So we'll take it to bare metal. We're going to use the etch primer to etch the metal back in and then we'll do a 2k over that <clears throat> there's not really a lot of body work on this portion of the car it actually is in really good shape um surprisingly there was no big dents or dings there were some small dimples but we'll take care of that once we get the 2k primer on with a little bit of spot filler here or there but for the most part this looks really good so i'm gonna go ahead and finish stripping the rest of this down and because i went ahead and did the doors and as you saw in the previous video, not these fenders, but the fenders up there were stripped all the way down to bare metal. I don't have to worry about those failing because I already know, hey, we went to the foundation and built up from there. We know everything that's there. Um, not sure if I did that on these doors. These doors may be getting stripped down again. Because I do not want to have to paint this car again because of something that this guy did. Now, if somebody else does something, that's on them, but this guy right here, no, nah, we're not doing that. So, with that said, I'm going to get back to work. I'm going to go ahead and get this stripped down. I got a lot of stripping to do. I could have used paint stripper on this, which I probably still could use paint stripper, just because it'll go a lot faster. I mean, I lay it on here, come out tomorrow, peel it all off, and down to bare metal. I might actually use paint stripper. That's a lot of sanding to do. But there's nothing wrong with sanding, but I might be able to do something more useful with my time than sand on this thing. So yeah, let's go get some paint stripper. I'll cover the floor up, we'll put some stripper on this thing, let it sit overnight. If you hadn't seen my video on the clean strip, um, I'll put a link at the top of the screen so you guys can check that out. That's what I'm going to use on here to go ahead and pull the rest of this paint off. I used the sander first because maybe I didn't need to strip it all the way down, but with what I saw up there, we're not going to take any chances at all. We're going to take it all the way down. So naturally, the product I was just talking about is out of stock. Um, you know, of course, right? So we're going to be using uh, some clean strip stripper that I've had here for a little bit. I've used it before. Um, I've got a 15 and a 30 minute. Which one use both? I don't think it'll take 15 or 30 minutes. It's probably gonna take about an hour. So I'm gonna lay it on here with a chip brush, which is one of these. And then we will 
Cover with some plastic, let it do its thing, scrape off what paint's here. Hopefully it'll strip it down to bare metal. I hope it does because that's what, that's what I'm going for. So anyway, let me get started. All right, she's been out here cooking a little bit. I'm gonna peel back this plastic and see what we got. So the biggest issue with this paint stripper is getting it on thick enough for it to actually do its job. Um, if you don't get it on super heavy, you'll end up with this. If you do it the right way, I'll take you around to the other side. So if it's not on there thick enough, it basically looks like that. It'll peel off one or two layers of paint. But if you get it on there and it starts to really break down, you get down to the bare metal. This is what you should have. If it looks like this, and that's exactly what you're after okay this is going to peel up should get you two bare metal or very close so what's going to happen here is i'm going to clean all this up and i have to reapply the stripper again try to get it covered up so it can do its job without drying out and then we'll be down to where we need to be which is the original metal of the car all you satisfying junkies out there it's like oh so satisfying yeah, it's just taking too much time is what it is. I know you guys want to see it peeled off of here. Why oh, would you deprive it for such a satisfying video? Years and years of paint. Alright, so I was using this stripper, I ran out. And the block went and picked me up a can of this. Now, uh, my friend Pete Dow Auto School did a video on this and said they changed the formula and it no longer was working. So I hope that they fixed the problem. He also said it didn't have an odor. I've opened this can up, you see a little bit on the roof over there, and this stuff almost knocked me out, so maybe. Maybe we're back. Now it says the work time on this is 45 minutes. Time is now 11.36. So we'll set our clock. I'm going to brush this on, throw some plastic over top, and then we will see if this stuff is good or if it's trash. I'm hoping that it's good because I don't have a lot of paint left to strip and I'd like to be done with this. date 1254 so we gave it more time we gave it about an hour 
a little over an hour. We'll see if this stuff comes off anywhere. This side was thicker than the other side. scrape up so I'm gonna leave it for another couple hours come back and check on it see if it gets any better but um, yeah that's that's pretty pathetic I'm not even gonna lie the old aircraft stripper within minutes the paint was peeling and falling off and this stuff is disappointing to say the least you can see it sitting on the surface there, peeling a little bit. I do have an area up here I also put it on just to see. Turned kind of brown. It was hardly breaking the paint up at all. Uh, let's see here. So that area is old stripper. And then that's the new stripper up there. And it's not lifting anything. Come back around here. That's old stripper. The new areas I stripped. Yeah. Not looking too good. Not looking good at all. And you can see it's pretty thick up in there. So. It is thick. Let me make sure I got all my air bubbles out. It's not drying up, so it's just not working. It smells like death. Well, that does not seem to be doing the job at all. Alright, let's give it another few hours and see if it makes any difference. As of right now, this stuff is looking like a big scam. Big scam. Alright, this is a comparison. I've got the 15 minute clean strip here, the 30 minute here. I'm going to go ahead and brush these on this front portion of the valance on this Camaro. You'll be able to see the immediate difference. Now, the other stuff's been on there for an hour. And I've been recording for 20 seconds. I want you to look at that. Somebody's lying about their product. This new stuff at least the clean strip version, aircraft remover. This is an old can, you can see it's all beat up. Take you guys in here close so you can get a close up of what's going on. Look at that. It is ripping into that paint. No problem at all. So I'm gonna cover this up with a little bit of plastic so it stays as wet as possible because that is the rest of that old cans that I had here. We'll let it do its stuff. But yeah, you can see it's already, this paint's like coming right off. So 
So yeah, don't get fooled. So I did the video on the other stripper because the old product is no more and this new stuff they have out there. I'll just leave you with a sticky mess like the top of this car. This stuff's been on here for an hour and it's not doing squat. I mean, that's pathetic. All right, it's the next day. The heater is on because it was 34 degrees in the garage. Uh, I've got heated up to about 51 degrees, so a little more manageable. This has been covered all night. Also had the trunk covered. So we're gonna see how this stuff peels off after roughly 24 hours of being on the car. A little bit longer than 45 minutes. got a hard plastic scraper semi-flexible this is actually a paint remover for glass Well, this was a paint remover for glass, it just broke.
All right, so on this side, I had to apply some more stripper. I just covered it in plastic. This was already stripped one time. This is the second application, left it overnight. It looks like it's done better on this side than it did on the top of the car. I'm going to grab my scraper and see if this comes off. So I got some mixed results. Part of it came straight to bare metal down here, here. This is bare metal. This was an area that actually had some rust, it looks like, at some point in time. And then this top portion, nothing. Paints exactly like it was before I put the stripper on. A couple more scrapers. Alright, yeah, that's kind of uh kind of disappointing there. That's all I can say. It's coming off, but that's with the razor scraper. The paint is softer. But it doesn't bubble up and come off like it used to. Last section I've got back here is the trunk. I hit this with 60 grit, put the stripper on, and that's all I've done. It's been covered in plastic for about 24 hours now. So before I go any further, let's just talk about what we have. This is all the way down to the etching of the trunk. And that's the original color. This is some black that was over top of the original color. Uh, I'm not sure about the red. That may be from the primer that I had underneath. The gray Rust-Oleum paint that was on here. So the Rust-Oleum paint, there's some primer. Some black paint and then the factory color. Um, right down here, we are the, we're all the way to the metal etching. And in most cases, that's where you want to be in your metal work or your body work. Um, I was going to bare metal because there were some areas of this car that were concerning. So anyway, I got a regular paint scraper just take this along here and see if this paint fills up all right with a single pass you can see that the paint at the top level and a little bit of the original paint peels up but that's it most of this is on top of the original paint comes right off of there no problem but does it do what it's advertised? And no, it doesn't. It's been on here for 24 hours, and we're down to the metal etching of this metal, but we're not in bare metal. Now, in some cases of the car, some areas, it did work its way through, but for the most part, it's not. So, I'm going to have to clean all this off and get out a wheel or a strip disc. Or find some other stripper because this is, um, I'd say it's a good way to remove a couple layers of paint. But the other product that I used before, the uh, Clean Strip Back to Nature, 24 hours and it was bare metal. I'll put a link at the top of the screen where that video is. Um, that was a set of fenders for the same car. Left it on overnight, came in the next day, and I could just run my scraper or take my hand and the paint would just fall off all the way to bare metal that was it and there was no harsh odor or anything so would I recommend this no not even in a pinch
The old formula? That's where it's at. As you saw on the front of this car, within about five minutes, the paint's peeling and blistering and falling off on the floor. This is 24 hours and stuff's still sitting here. It smells terrible. And you don't get half the result, not even a third of the result, as the original formula. So anyway, I'm going to finish stripping... I'll finish stripping this paint off with this scraper for what it's worth. And then I'm going to get the strip wheel out, get this thing down to bare metal, because we got to keep rolling forward. Alright, last area on the front of this car. This was 15 minute stripper and 30 minute stripper. Um, and then I poured a little bit more of the new version on top of it. Now, you can see the 15 and 30 minute what it does. The 15 and 30 minute stripper. This is the new formula. This is the old formula. New. Old. And you can see this paint. And I'll just do this with my hand so you can see. You literally can just pull it off the car. Literally just like wipes off. Now. You can see that's some etching there. And up here at the front, we have bare metal. It's right there underneath all this extremely loose paint. That's how it should be. It should just fall right off the vehicle. But it seems those days are gone because this new stuff we get to work with is overpriced and underpowerful. All right, well, you can see as we roll over towards the newer product how the paint is a lot more difficult to get off. far.